Hey, what's up, guys? You've seen me do this game before while I was doing a multiplayer live stream. I still have that video. It's called the uh, Unward. It's still in development. It's a military simulation game that's available on HTC Vive currently. Uh, people say it's available on Oculus Rift, but I haven't seen any uh, Oculus Rift support because I do have both HTC Vive and Oculus Rift. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you just the amount of freedom in terms of movement that you have with this game. And I think that's what makes it so unique. My only negative about the game, which I will point out, is the uh, walking. But, uh, they should have made the uh, running and sprinting and walking a little bit more responsive. But other than that, it's still pretty cool concept. This is still in development, it's not a finished product, uh, So, but I like what they're doing here. They're truly trying to go for something uh, more realistic. So I'm going to go to free roam. I'm going to choose a uh, quarantine right here. And we're going to load. Uh, it's going to ask us to pick up our weapon. I'm going to go with the M14 or M16 and see what they have. They're going to transport us to a uh, barracks, and from there we're going to get our weapons in here. There's the Abraham tank right there. Big A. Uh, it's still loading, I don't know why it's taking such a long time. All right, so here we are. Let's grab the helmet. Uh, the one thing about HTC Vive, as I mentioned earlier on my videos that I did for HTC Vive, you gotta have enough room. You know, it's really important that you have enough room. Move any objects away that you might have. Let's grab the helmet. Let's put it on. Let's uh, choose our weapon. Load out one. I'll go with the M16A4. M16A4 because I'm just used to this weapon. Uh, holographic sight, put the flashlight, laser sight. I'll go with the grip for right now. FMG, uh, FMJ tracer, body armor. I don't have enough uh, points for the body armor. You do have the points. The more points you have, the more uh, perks you will have to add to your weapons. Uh, you can touch, you can pretty much have different uh, weapons. I'm going to go with the, uh, they have 1911, M1 1911. But for right now, I'll go with the Glock 17, I'll go with the G, and uh, let's confirm this loadout. There it is. Here I am, hands up. We can do squats. We can do training. Uh, if you are considering buying HTC Vive, and you're gonna play games like this, games where you're gonna be moving around, jumping around, uh, it's really it's really a good workout. Not only are you gonna be getting a good workout, which is good for you. But at the same time, you'll be enjoying playing a video game. So, this is what I was talking about, the, the freedom of movement. See, I can go down, I can lay down on the ground, I can check things out, I can go like that, move things up, look here, there. Move around here. And then I can, I can squat. Like that I can grab my weapon right here, put it back, holster it. I can also get my other weapon, which is right here. Hold on. There it is. 
There's my uh, G17. You can even look at the inside the barrel. You can look at the bullet inside. You can cock it. Hold on. To see if there's a bullet inside. You can get the bullets out. You can get the magazine out. Okay, I can come down and pick it up. And then I can uh, put it back in. Do the same thing. Get it out. Pick it up. And then do the same thing. Look if there's one in the chamber. There it is. Uh, there. Same thing. Get the magazine. Put it in. And then I can fire a shot if I want to. I can do a kneel down. I can go up. Let's go shoot that red sign right there. Hold on. Wait a minute. Did I empty all the bullets? Hold on. Oh yeah, dude, I emptied all the bullets. Can, can you pick up the bullets? Anyway, you see how realistic this is? I emptied all the bullets, so there's no bullets inside. I might have an extra magazine right here. Put it right here. Now we can do it. Let's do it. Let's cock it. There you go. Kneel down again. Like that. Right there. Or I can do the John Wick style. Go like this. Pull it out. Go like that. Like John Wick always pulls it like that. He goes like this. Close, close to his chest. Then. Go. All right, let's start uh, host, hosting this in. Put it in. Okay, let me get my rifle. Now, with the rifle, I can grab this. Uh, I can do the same thing here. I can pull this out if I want to. You can check to see what type of bullets you have inside. Cock it back in. You can uh, hold the grip and you can position yourself, find a clear space. Remember, when you're playing this type of game, it is very important that you have enough free space. If you don't have enough free space, then you're going to hurt yourself. I would say go install HTC Vive into a room that you have enough space. Okay, let's say I want to shoot that, uh, that ambulance car. Okay. Okay, let's go like that. Let's kneel down. Let's position ourselves. You can also use a semi-automatic and automatic. You can switch between single fire or rapid fire. That's a single fire. You can kneel down a little bit. And go like that if you want to. While you're holding it, you can also do this. You can just grab it, eject the. Uh, see, there's one in the chamber right there. You can see it's ejected. So grab the uh, the grip again, and then do it. Or you can switch it back to a rapid fire and go full automatic. And if you want to take the magazine out, you just uh, eject it right here on the right trigger. Hold on. That's going to come out. You will see it here. Actually, it's not on the trigger. Actually, you have to put right, press right here on the side. 
Uh, there is a button, touch button, sensitive touch button that's on the uh, HTC Vive control, and you just press it down on the HTC Vive control right here. You just press it down, and the magazine will come out. Then we go pick it up. You can look at your uh, magazine to see what you got inside, uh, right there. See, you know, this is a full lead right here. This will go to anything. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the full lead, but again, they only use this for the for the battles uh, in the war zone or fighting the terrorists or what have you. Yeah. Or SWAT team. I think SWAT team might have some hollow points. I don't know. I'm not sure. They might have a special design kind of bullets for this. I don't know. And then you can move around. You just touch the uh, the controller a little bit. down you can go slow uh, yes you can actually lay down if you want to I'm gonna demonstrate that right now yeah I can lay down on the ground like this is really me laying down on the ground okay so this is like as real as it can be and you really feel like like you like you're doing it so there I can position myself targets you know it's pretty cool that I can uh, climb back up again it's very important that you have enough room you know that's the key thing here you gotta have enough room to to uh, enjoy this game now when you're playing this in multiplayer it's much more chaotic because you got five against five and then uh, you know he could be over there on that tower. This is not the best spot to be. He could be on the other side over there on top of that building. So there's plenty of places that can ambush you. There's a different types of dynamic weather, rain, night, uh, haze. So, you know, you, you're going to be in different types of environments fighting. And, and this is what they're trying to achieve with this game, to truly give you that immersive uh, virtual reality military simulation combat. There's another game called The Breach, which is also pretty cool, but that's more of like a Rainbow Six Tactical. I still think the Onward is the most realistic one. You can have... And this game will definitely give you a workout, there's no question about that. Here, let me uh, take a grip. Let me try and shoot the uh, the electrical power. And you can see how the bullets inject. You can even see where your bullets are. Uh, your shellings, I'm sorry. See your shellings? You can even check out your shellings right here. There they are. See when they eject? Here, let me do this one really quick. I'll go like this. And watch. Keep an eye how realistically all the shells eject. Okay, so I'm gonna do that really quick right now. We're gonna position with that. Just keep, keep looking. And the way I'm gonna trigger it. You see, there it is, one. There it is, two, so one, two. And let's do one more. That is one, two, three. And you can go check them out, there's one, two, three. So it's pretty cool, it's pretty realistic. I mean, the, the attention to detail that they're trying to bring into this game, I think it's pretty realistic. Uh, it's definitely a good training tool, like the law enforcement, the military. You know. I can definitely uh, see a potential in that. And the reason why HTC Vive, to me, is better than Oculus Rift, because the HTC Vive, the motion tracking, it's really fluid. Everything you see here is fluid as it can be. You know, the way you hold your gun. Hold it like that. It's 
really realistic to know. So, um, yeah, you also have a radio. It's like right here on your right. You just press the trigger and you can say uh, uh, QR4 to uh, 211 copy. 11 to QR4, which copy. Like, something like that, whatever, I'm just making some shit up, right? The codes, they, they use different codes. So, you can, like, talk to your teammates. Let's say you guys get lost, and the cool thing about this game is there's no, like, it's not Call of Duty, like, they, they don't tell you where you are. Like, Call of Duty is kids for the game, it's a it's, it's arcade shit. Uh, so, they don't tell you, you don't know where the enemy is. And you really have to depend on your uh, logistics and on your team, on your captain and your sergeant to uh, guide you to the enemy. Usually the enemy is going to be either in dark suits or in uh, green or yellow. So they're all going to have you, you guys going to have uh, opposite colors when you're fighting each other. So this is just a quick demo I wanted to show you, just so just so you guys get the idea how realistic this is, and I'm definitely supporting this uh, developer. Uh, I like I like look I'm, I'm always going to support a developer that's trying to uh, do something more. I like real simulations, and what they're trying to do here, they're trying to bring like a real tactical simulation into this game and uh, depending on who you play with, if you play like with really smart people, like if you're playing with uh, military veterans and they're playing this game, uh, you better be in your A game because they're going to be, you know, telling you all sorts of different things to move here, move there, uh, move left clicks there and they're going to give you all these different uh, coordinations and you're going to have to know what the hell they're talking about. You know, if you never knew the military, you're going to have a clue what the hell that means. But uh, Again, this is not for everyone, I understand that, this is not for everyone, but if you want to get into like real tactical military VR simulation, this is it. Yeah. And you can grab anything, you can grab the, uh, the smoke, or oh, was it the... This is the... Uh, a smoke, or... I'm not sure. I think this is a stun grenade. It's a stun grenade. Let me see. Hold on. Let's throw it away. There. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that was a stun grenade. That's why. Because if I left it there, I mean, it would have knocked me out. Yeah. So, there you go, guys. There you have it. You know, I don't know what else I can say. Hopefully this video gives you a little glimpse of just how realistic this experience is. And uh, this is why, personally, I prefer HTC Vive because it's much better tracking. No matter which game you play, look, Oculus Rift is good too, but HTC Vive has way better tracking. You know? I mean, the tracking is really smooth, you know. But right now, if I, if I wanted to box and do something, I could do that as well. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright guys, so there you have it. Hopefully you like this video.